بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules in this session we will be studying another letter of Arabic alphabet it is called Ya and it has multiple sounds one is called one is um, A second one is E the third one is A the second part of all of those words A E A so the first two are uh, long vowels and the third one is uh, used as a consonant so what are the articulation points for yeah these they are multiple okay when um, alif uh, when yeah is used as alif maqsura then the articulation point is the empty space between the mouth and the throat and the position of the tongue looks like this and the sound is double a ah ah okay so that's when ya yeah is used as alif maqsura, a long vowel. So this alif maqsura, it means a shortened alif. Alif maqsura, that's in English, it's called shortened alif. That's the first one. The second one, the second one is when the ya yeah is used as another long vowel. It is e, and it is normally ya, yeah, and before that is a kasra. So it's a hidden sukun. And the letter before it has kasra, that's another sound. It's called e. We will explain this in the following session as well in more detail. So the second one is uh, the long vowel, yeah, as a long vowel, and the sound is e, and the and the articulation point is the empty space between the mouth and the throat, but the the tongue position is like this. So the the difference is when yeah as alif maqsura, the tongue position is this, and when it is uh, e, then e, then the position is like this. The third one is when uh, the yeah is used as um, consonant. Then the position, then the um, articulation point is different. That's the middle of the uh, tongue and what, what is opposite to it. But we will explain this in the following uh, session. So this part is explained in the following session and these two are here. So is it a heavy or light letter? It is one uh, of the letters that can have both properties. So if we use yeah, um, as um, as a consonant then it is light but if we use it as a uh, vowel then if the letter before it ha is uh, if the letter before it is heavy then it is heavy but uh, this ya yeah is heavy but if the letter before it is light then this ya yeah is light so it has both properties heavy it has heaviness in, in it sometimes and sometimes lightness so is it a connector or non-connector? It is one of the connecting letters. Why? Because if we see its connecting forms, um, that proves that, um, that goes to show that it is a connector. So if it comes in the beginning of a word, then you can connect other letters with it after it. If it comes uh, in the middle, then you can connect other letters before or after it. If it comes at the end of a word, then you can connect other letters um, before it. You won't see these forms uh, in real text because normally it it is either written like this with two dots, yeah, or it is written like this, something on top of it, it is used as a chair. Similarly, in the middle, either you will have two dots under it as used as a yeah, uh, or the fo other form of yeah, or uh, you will have uh, something on top of it used as a chair. Okay. So how to write it? It is written... Uh, it has two parts. One, the top part, it is uh, the top part is written above the line, and the bottom one below the line. So, so the top part above the line, and the one, uh, the the bottom one below the line. Okay. Other forms can be written like this. In the beginning, it looks like this. In the middle, it looks like this, and at the end, it looks like this. Can we connect them? Yes, we can because it's a connector. But again, just to repeat that, you won't see this in the real text. You either it will have something underneath or something above. Okay. Or sometimes you have this one as if it's alif maqsura, then you have to have small uh, alif saghira on top of it. Okay. That's how we write it. So what is the English equivalent for uh, for yeah? So it has multiple uh, sounds. The first one is when it is used as a alif maqsura, as a long vowel, a, 
another long word e the second part of both of them and then uh, i o y sound when it is used as a consonant okay for transliteration purposes we will use um, if it is used as a consonant then we use the y and if it is used as a long vowel uh, which is alif maqsura then it has to be double double a as a and if it is used as a, another long vowel e then it's double e okay so that's as yeah uh, y for show, uh, as a consonant and for long vowel we use either a or e it depends on the situation okay so we will explain this uh, the meaning of this uh, in the following session kasra and what uh, what they do okay so this is the end of this session uh, we will see you in next session um, until then assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh